guys, my name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, if you haven't done so already, go check out my video where I did like the Christmas wish list. Basically, you just gotta forward that to whoever you want gifts from. It's like the RC wish list, like RC buyer's guide for Christmas. One of the things that were that was on there was this electric screwdriver. I ended up going, as much as I hate to admit it, I ended up doing not really Black Friday shopping, but I did go out on Black Friday. I went to Home Depot and they did have two of these left. They were on sale for 59 bucks. That is a great deal for these. Usually Dewalt tools don't really go on sale, so went off on sale for 59 bucks. They had two of them left. I bought both of them. I'm gonna try it out. So I've always wanted one of these. I've been using the Milwaukee, like the hand looks like a gun. It's been really well, I've been doing really well with it, but I wanted to try this out. I was gonna do a thorough review on it today, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually use it for a while. I'm gonna build a kit with it, and then I'll give you the full, the full experience on which one I think is better. So that's not what this video is about though. This video is about this guy. Uh, it's starting to look good. I just got this shock to stop leaking and actually it's still leaking a little bit. I figured out what it was. These shock caps, the metal shock caps, aluminum anodized shock caps, you can't tighten them all the way down otherwise the bladder will just shoot into the shock body. So I didn't tighten them all the way down, I basically tightened them just tight enough where I know that it's going to seal. Um, there's no air coming out of it so it's good. The only thing I have left on this thing is I got to mount it on the starter box. So this is the starter box I'm going to use, this is the starter box I had in my stock of stuff. This is the Protec Sure Start starter box. This is a great starter box. Probably overkill for this, but it's what I had and you know, I don't want to half-ass anything. I think this one's got dual 775 motors, which is the good one. Yep, dual 775, 750 motors. Super excited about throwing this on. I don't have to worry about, you know, finding top dead center with uh, a one-way bearing. That's always a pain in the butt. So. I gotta mount this. Whenever you mount starter boxes, you always wanna mount it with the engine out. That way you can actually see where the wheel goes in. I'm probably gonna have to do, not really mods, but I'm gonna change the starter box up because the way this starter box is mounted out of the box, the wheel goes, like if this is a starter box, it goes like this. I need to mount it where it goes like this. I guess lateral or parallel to the box. Anyways, I'm gonna do that. I gotta fix the connector on this thing. I'm wired up for, it's not wired up for LiPo yet. I've gotta put a, servo connector on it and then this thing should be ready to go soon I'm, I don't have much left after I do all that I mount the engine servos and everything are mounted already I just gotta mount the throttle servo this thing actually turned out really good I don't ever want to build another one of these again I hope you enjoy this rebuild because I don't think I'm gonna do it again this was a big pain in the butt the smallest things to fix you have to take the entire thing apart but nonetheless it's almost done. I should be done with it. It's gonna be it's gonna be cool. One thing I'm really excited about doing is I found I've got all this stuff still out here from that Christmas. I found my drift tires. So I'm gonna do a super nitro Fortec drift on this thing. I'm super excited about that. So let me get to work guys. So needless to say, I ran into more issues, but it's done. It is done. I'll be lying if I told you that um, I had fun during this build <laughs> because it was such a pain in the butt. So basically I started mounting the starter box. The Protec starter box doesn't have a way to mount it uh, the way you need to for an engine that's the flywheel is going this way. So I couldn't use that starter box. So I ended up having to use my Jado starter box. Um, there's another thing. Oh, when I started mounting on the starter box, I noticed that this piece right here, like the rear bulkhead, was cracked. So you saw in the time lapse, I had my other Fortec up here taking parts off of it. Sorry, my dog's digging something. Taking parts off it so I could get it, so I could finish this car. This is the piece that broke. Like, I didn't know it was broken, but you can see there's a crack there. So whenever I was mounting it on the starter box, 
I saw it. So I robbed it off my other car. I did order these pieces. These are out of stock. These are discontinued. I found it on eBay, so I do have it. I stripped one of this. I don't think I did it, but one of the screw holes is stripped for the motor mount. I go to order one of those off of line or offline, and then whenever I took the this piece off of my other Fortech, the hinge pin was broken, so I got to order hinge pins also. Both of those parts are discontinued on the Traxxas website, so I got to go hunt them down. But I'm sure I can find them. You can find them on on eBay. Uh, pretty easily. I, I saw a few. I kind of did a quick search. saw a few. So anyways, let's go over what I actually did to this thing because I did a lot. A lot, a lot. So I'll put it all on the screen. I'm going to go through it really quick because I want to start this thing up, guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what you guys want to see too. I want to start this thing up and see if it actually runs. And then tomorrow, because it's nighttime now, tomorrow we'll actually take it out and drive it. See if we can get a few tanks in it. See if the engine's good. So what I did was the first thing I did is I replaced the front upper suspension mount that is this, this that piece up top that I had a few of I replaced the front hubs they were broken and I upgraded them to the aluminum ones I replaced the chassis it's broken which I'll show you where it was broken this is the old chassis and you can see that right there is bad okay so then I replaced the front diff case and shock tower so the diff case and the shock tower was one piece it was broken. That was that piece that I had to take everything apart. I replaced the receiver box because it was missing the top cap for the, the little rubber top cap. So I went ahead and just replaced it and it was all scratched up anyways. I replaced the rear bulkhead. That was a piece that I just talked to you guys about that was broken. I replaced the rear bearing carriers. Um, not because they were broken, but because I upgraded them to the aluminum ones because they look cool. Replaced the shock caps. Again, that was probably the biggest pain in the butt part because I couldn't get them from leaking. But the key is not to like squeeze them down or screw them down really 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 tight otherwise it pops the bladder off replace the throttle servo uh, I upgraded it to 2075 I replaced the throttle uh, steering servo upgraded it to 2075 X that's the Metal Gear one I replaced the glow plug or re remove the easy start and easy start wiring I added a custom back plate for a bump box I clean and lube the engine I clean the clutch and I did the lipo conversion so that's what I did this thing. So let's start. I, I can't. I can't take any more. I'm gonna get the stuff to start it up. So be right back. All right, got all the stuff I need. Starter box. Oh, check this. Uh, check out that stand. The stand's pretty sick. It's a beta stand. Got it when I ran for a gamma. I never used it. It's carbon fiber. It's really cool. Um, all right. So let's just put the battery in the old starter box here. Okay, we got power there. Put some fuel in it. I did reset the needles. So if you don't know what the Traxxas needle, uh, factory needle setting is, it's flush on the low speed needle. I think a millimeter or 0 0.7. It's like a millimeter on the idle and then four turns from, from all the way in on the high speed needle. All right, let's hope this sucks up here. Let's open this up so we can suck up some fuel here. Uh oh. fat on bottom but she runs man I am spraying fuel all over the place all over my phone you know what I want to get it to idle let's let's uh, lean out the old bottom a little bit or a lot in that case Ooh, it was a lot all right right there should be good let's get her to idle you know what I am going to put 
something over it, like so. guys it runs we're gonna run this thing tomorrow looks like i just kind of leaned out the bottom a little bit it was a little fat on bottom it looks like it's keeping an idle we should be able to get this thing tuned in and start doing some runs i'm gonna run this body um this is the only body that I, it came with the car so so the only one i got i didn't paint those pro line bodies yet but thanks for watching guys if you like this video guys smash the like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and next time you guys are gonna see this thing actually running so Later, guys.